Hi, I'm James Ward, a platform evangelist at Salesforce. I want to show you how you can get started building Visual Force pages that use AngularJS and Bootstrap, and then have those pages show up on the Salesforce One mobile application. To get started, I'm going to go create a new Visual Force page. So I'll go to Setup, and then under Build, go to Develop, and then Pages. I'm going to create a new Visual Force page. We'll call this one Hello. And then in my page, I'm going to write some Apex Visual Force code. First thing I'm going to do is set the doc type here to HTML-5.0. Now I'm going to bring in first the Angular JavaScript file. So to do that, I'm going to do an Apex colon include script. And I'm going to set the value of this to be the URL to the AngularJS file. I can just pull those down from the CDN. So I'm going to copy this URL to the Angular JavaScript file. And I'm going to change the URL here to start with slash slash. What that does is pick the protocol. So if I'm on HTTP, it uses HTTP. If I'm on HTTPS, it uses HTTPS. So on Salesforce, this will probably always end up being HTTPS. Then I'm going to write some HTML that will be a very basic Angular application. So I'm going to create a div. And I'm going to set an Angular property here called ng-app and give it a name which will be ng-app and let's close that div and then I'm going to do a new form here and inside of my form we'll put just a, a very basic uh, label so we'll say label name and close the label and then I'm going to do an input this will be a type equals text and now we're going to do some Angular bindings. So I'm going to say ng-model equals your name. And this is what sets up Angular, an Angular model so that this, the value of this input will bind into the model in Angular. Then what I want to do is display that name. And I'm going to use data binding in Angular to do that. So what I'm going to do is say hello and then use the double braces and bind to your name. So this is just basic Angular JS to show you how you can get started with with Angular in the Visual Force page. So now whenever the user changes this input, the data binding will kick in and automatically update the UI. So this is all happening on the client side. Angular is a client side MVC framework and so it's watching this for changes and then updating this value on the web page whenever the value changes there. So one last thing I need to do to set up Angular is I need to add a new script tag in here. And in my script tag, I'm going to, to actually initialize Angular. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say angular.module. And then I'm going to give it the name, which is ng-app, which I specified down there. And then I'll close that. And then there's going to be an empty... Uh, parameter here for the modules that I'm going to initialize, so no additional modules. So that's my my basic Angular page. Let's uh, let's save this, and then we can go test it out here in the browser. So I can go to Preview, and this opens up that new Visual Force page, and we'll see that now we get the text input. And whenever I type in that text input, the data binding in Angular is automatically updating the web page. So that's great, I've got my basic page. Let's do a little bit more with this. Right now it doesn't look uh, like, it doesn't look very nice. So let's make a little change to it to make it look a bit nicer. There is the Twitter Bootstrap library, which is a CSS library that makes it easy to style web pages and make them look nice. There's a version of that that's been created to look like the Salesforce One mobile application. And so I want to bring in that style sheet into this page so that the page starts to look like the Salesforce One mobile app. So to do that, I'm going to add another tag here. This is going to be Apex colon style sheet. And then I'm going to set a value of this equal to wherever that CSS is. And I can get that from right here. So I'm going to copy that URL, paste it in there. And again, I'm going to change the URL to start with that slash slash. So now that'll be pulling in the CSS into my page. So one last thing I need to do, I'm using a namespaced version of Bootstrap so it doesn't conflict with other things. So I need to set the class on my div equal to Bootstrap. 
So now let's uh, save this page and then we'll go back and hit refresh and now it should be pulling in the CSS and now it's looking a lot nicer, looking more like the Salesforce One mobile application. So that's great. Now I have my Visual Force page. It has Angular and Bootstrap in it. And now let's take this page and let's get it working on the Salesforce One mobile app. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into uh, to the tabs, which is under create, and let's select tabs. Now I'm going to create a new tab here in Salesforce based on a Visual Force page. So we're going to select the Visual Force page. We're going to give this tab a label and a name, and then let's select a tab style. Let's just select the Apple sounds good. And then I'm going to finish going through the wizard to set this all up. Next and save. And there's one thing that I, important thing that I need to do on my page here. If we go back to pages and then go to edit on this Visual Force page, in order to expose this on the Salesforce One mobile app, I do need to specify, check this box to say that this is available for Salesforce One mobile apps. So let's save that page again. Now, one last thing, let's go into mobile administration and then mobile navigation. And you'll see that now we have a new menu item available that I can add here. So I'm going to go add that into the selected items in the Salesforce One application and then hit save. So now let's go over to my mobile device and see if it's all working there. So here's my iPhone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the Salesforce One app. And I'm already logged in as the user uh, that I was creating that Visual Force page under. But now when we select the little hamburger menu and scroll down, we'll now see there's a new item here called Hello. And if I select that item, then this is going to run that Visual Force page, which is using Angular and Bootstrap. And you can see that this will now work on the mobile device. I can come in and, and type there, and uh, it's updating the page. So now my Angular and Bootstrap application is working on my mobile device, uh, just like it was in my desktop web browser. So that's how easy it is to get started building Visual Force pages with AngularJS and Bootstrap that also work in the Salesforce One mobile application.